Facebook. That's what we're talking about. Morning Blend Omaha. It wasn't long ago we were celebrating Omaha's 150th birthday. The city had only existed for 11 years when the Sisters of Mercy arrived. This marks their 150th year. They probably never envisioned a world with hashtags, but the mission to make mercy real <laughs> I remains. I still can't figure that out. With us this morning, <laughs> Sister Jean O'Rourke and Mercy High School senior is a cruise chalk. Good to see both of you this morning. Hi, Good morning. Uh, I didn't go to Mercy, obviously. <laughs> uh, so I'm not really familiar with the Sisters of Mercy. Explain what the Sisters of Mercy do. Thank you. We are um, Roman Catholic women vowed. We take the traditional vows, but also a vow of service. Um, we have been in Omaha, as you said, 150 years. Mm -hmm. And immediately when those seven young sisters came out here from New Hampshire, they began uh, a school, an elementary school within one month and a wow. high school as well, and then moved right in in a few short years to health care. We are most known in Omaha probably for our sponsored works, which is CHI Bergen Mercy mm -hmm. Hospital, uh, Mercy yeah. High School, and College of St. Mary. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Mercy High School. Mercy High School. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and Knowles Mercy Retreat Center. Those seven sisters, they left quite a legacy yeah. 150 years ago, didn't they? Unbelievable what they did, and as you said so quickly, uh, that they were, they were determined to make so much happen. Um, the Make Mercy Real, I, I referred to it as a hashtag. Uh, what are we doing here in 2015 with their legacy? Well, the hashtag is, it's an invitation from the Mercy Sisters to share an act of service that you're doing via social media. Mm -hmm. So you would do an act of service and then tweet it or put it on Facebook mm -hmm. with the hashtag Make Mercy Real. And it just, it shares um, any sort of service with people who aren't necessarily familiar with Mercy or don't know what their mission mm -hmm. is, that they can see what Mercy is really all about. Yeah, and we have the, thank you for bringing these <laughs> wristbands in, because we've got it, and we've got the hashtag right on our wrists. Um, explain how this campaign works. So like I said, you would do any sort of mm -hmm. act of service. It could be big or small. It can be donating cans. It can be giving clothes to a shelter. Mm -hmm. And just by putting it on social media, you're encouraging others to act the way you are and mm -hmm. like the Sisters of Mercy would. Right, in, in their light. Um, doing something that sort of reflects what their their goals were. This whole thing is happening September 24th through October 21st. Is there a reason for that time frame? Yes. Um, September 24th was the day that our founders, Catherine McCauley, mm -hmm. opened the doors on mm -hmm. Bagot Street in Dublin to take in women who needed a home. And then uh, October 21, uh, 1864 was mm -hmm. the day that the seven sisters landed mm -hmm. on the muddy banks mm -hmm. of the Missouri River and immediately began their work. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it paying homage to your history right. with those days. It, it, Actually, we had the kickoff last night at Knowles Mercy Center mm -hmm. where people will, were invited to bring uh, necessities and those will be donated to uh, Stevens Center, two big oh. cartloads. Great. Nice. Other uh, other organizations getting involved with this? Right. The, um, of course, the Sisters of Mercy are being challenged to do even more, as well as our associates and uh, Mercy Volunteer Corps, who are men and women just out of college usually mm -hmm. who give a year of service. Um, do you have KBSS? KBSS. Bergen Mercy. Do you have a goal? Because we talk sometimes with, um, if it's if it's a fundraising campaign, you know, X dollars, but when it's about time or acts, how do you measure the success of a campaign like this? I guess we don't measure it. Probably God does, but um, <laughs> we're just saying. What an she had awesome the answer reply. for you, Mary. She had the answer. I love that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but we're just challenging people to do even more than what they ordinarily do. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we're really excited to invite people because when we celebrate 150 years, people of Omaha were so gracious in supporting us, and now we're reaching out in another way to challenge people to become more involved. While we have you here, we just have a few few seconds left, but what are your thoughts on the papal visit? 
We are so excited uh -huh. to see him and, and to listen to what he might have to say to us. I think he will really issue some challenges for mm. us as well. I believe you're yeah. right. Yep. A lot of open ears. Right. Sister, thank you for being here. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, we've got information here so you can take part. Make mercy real. You don't need a wristband. Um, all you need is sort of a desire to do something kind, I think. September 24th through October 21st. And then if you're going to Facebook or you're going to Twitter or you're going to Instagram, wherever you choose to play online, uh, hashtag make mercy real. Are you hashtagging, sister? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Is it like thanks for your no time? Tomorrow. Sister, <laughs> Thank thanks you. a lot.